Girls. We're actually here in uh, Praia de Forte, Brazil, and we're at the Tamar Project, which is a conservation organization and visitor center all about the protection of sea turtles. So Giant like, sea turtles. Giant, like, massive sea turtles. <laughs> there are, in the world, seven species of Perinta. Five of them occur in Brazil. All of them are threatened with extinction and two of those are critically endangered. We had to change a whole reality in 30 years uh, from turtles being seen as a, a resource to be consumed and we couldn't just come and say so you have to stop eating turtles, you have to stop using their shells. Instead we had to find alternatives for these communities. We started out by employing turtle hunters in the project to actually work for the project, finding the nests and all kinds of that. And then uh, gradually their families got involved too. And nowadays we have 1,300 uh, workers throughout Brazil and 80% of the staff is from local communities. Sea turtles, they, can, they have a very long life cycle. We estimate they can live up to 100 years old. So they only reach sexual maturity at the age of 30. The animals we have here, one of the largest, he weighs 160 kilos. He's also becoming sexually mature now, that's why he's separated from the females. Because in nature, uh, turtles are solitary. They don't live in groups or families, so they only meet to mate. The male has also really large claws on the flipper that the female doesn't have. They use these to clasp on to the female when mating. <laughs> because one female can mate with several males and it's a very competitive business. So when the male clasps on the female, he doesn't want her to run away. <laughs> okay. And she can actually store sperm for over a year. So when she mates with several different males, she stores the, the sperm from all these different males. So in one nest you can have babies from different fathers. <laughs> wow, these, um, these female girls. Yeah. So right now I'm at the Igreja da Bonfia, a church here in Bahia, Salvador. Bahia being the state in Brazil that we're in. So many ribbons. Ah, so many ribbons, Stephanie. So many ribbons. Do you want to guess how many? Make sure that guess how many there are. Good luck. Seriously, good luck. Well, Stephanie, okay. I have a bunch of ribbons. I'm ready to tie them onto this fence. Pita? Pita. Pita ribbon. That one is mine. Welcome to the Moroccan chill out room here in the hostel. Basically, during the middle of the day, it gets really, really hot in Brazil, and so you don't really want to do anything unless you're at the beach between like one and three because it's just way too, way too hot outside. So we're just chill out today because we're not going to the beach. We're just sitting here. Yeah. And do this. Stephanie, you're really hard at work. Yes. It's me. Nothing right now. Absolutely nothing. And I'm looking at Chuck. I don't know. <laughs> Just turned it on and there's a picture. And I'm like, that kind of looks like Rio. Because that's where we're going next. So, yeah, then I got distracted and I trying to find out where this picture is from. But we're still in Salvador. But we're still, we're still in Salvador. Mm -hmm. 